Attention all sneakerheads and a few shoe heads. For today's video, we've made a list of sneakers and shoes that start at several thousands of dollars and go all the way up to several million. So if you don't mind cashing out your children's college fund and a second mortgage on your house, then here are the top 10 celebrity shoes. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 10, DJ Khaled's Air Jordan 3s, Grateful. Calling himself one of the most hardworking artists out there, Khaled has the numbers to back it up. However, it seems like he's branching out. Since he's a huge sneakerhead, DJ Khaled has been looking to get into the sneaker game. That's why in 2017, he and Air Jordan collaborated where he did his take on Air Jordan 3s. And the name? Grateful. Just like his mantra, he's been preaching for the past years. And you know what? These sneaks are dope. We don't know if it's the flaming red, the keychain on the side, or the We The Best X Jordan Jumpman logo. But there's just something about these sneakers that makes them look better than everything else out there. Now, if you are looking to buy one, then you should probably start smashing that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, what you should actually be doing is taking 12 extra shifts at work. As the lowest price tag we managed to find for these puppies is $12,000. Some sources say it's more like $25,000. But hey, a couple thousand more never killed anyone, right? Number 9. Big Boy Diamond Nikes From one rapper to the next, Big Boy has been in love with sneakers his whole life. And that's why he did a collaboration with Nike and he managed to build the most expensive pair of Air Force Ones the world has ever known. He encrusted the white sneakers with $13,000 worth of champagne diamonds, which were placed around the Nike logo, as well as the top line of the soles. This coupled with the fact that these shoes were the creation of Big Boy, have been fetching a price tag of $50,000. But this was back in 2007. That's when he actually revealed the shoes at the Solitaire Kicks event organized by Laced Up and PNC Diamonds. The shoes were revealed during the event, but there's no information about how expensive the shoes are today. Number 8. Michael Jordan's Air Jordan 12s Imagine this, you're roaming the web, trying to find a good pair of sneakers, and you come across the ones that were worn by the man, the myth, the legend himself, Michael Jordan but you hesitate to buy them. Why? Because the bidding started at $5,000 and they went all the way up to $104,765. There's a special reason these shoes are so expensive and there's little secret hidden behind that price tag. These were the sneakers Michael Jordan wore in game five of the 1997 NBA Finals. Even though Jordan was battling a stomach virus during this game, he still managed to get the score to 36 to 20 in the second quarter for his team. He was responsible for 38 points, seven rebounds, five assists, and three steals. Bear in mind, he was at his weakest. Now, what about the secret to the price? We're glad you asked. You see, if you look at all the numbers in the price, you take each one and add them up individually, you will get the number 23. And we don't need to tell you what that number represents, do we? Number seven, Michael Jordan, fast break. From one shoe to the next, we will now look at his Converse fast break. But man, Jordan should really try to keep his feet to himself. Everything they touch turns into gold. Anyway, let's talk shoes. Back in 2017, Leland's the famous auctioning site started the bidding war for one of the most expensive pair of shoes on this planet. Why were these so special? If you're into basketball, then you will know that these were the shoes that Jordan wore during the University of North Carolina's 1982 NCAA championship season. The shoes were worn out. They were white and blue, and they had MJ's signature on the outside part of the foot as well as 1982 NCAA championship written right below his signature. And we know it's pale, it's faded, and the things responsible for Jordan asking $190,373. Of 
Again, if you add up all the digits in the prize, you will get the number 23. These people are just nuts. Number 6. Nike's Moon Shoe These aren't really celebrity shoes unless you consider Bill Bowerman, the co-founder of Nike, a celebrity. But it's true. They were the first shoe ever created by Nike when they opened their business in 1972. Bowerman has said that there were only 12 pairs made of this model. And they had their debut on the 1972 Olympic Trials Marathon. So, why the name? It's because the footprints that these shoes left resembled those of the astronauts that landed on the moon in 1962. This was a big marketing gimmick and it put Nike on the map. The shoes were auctioned for $80,000 by Sotheby's and the price quickly jumped to a jaw-dropping $437,500. Who was the lucky buyer? A man by the name of Mile Nadal, who has purchased 99 pairs of Nike shoes for $850,000 in the past. Number five, Laura Herring and the Million Dollar Shoes. Now we move down to the domain of woman shoes, and none shine brighter than the shoes Laura Herring wore at the 2002 Academy Awards. The man behind the shoes was actually Stuart Weitzman, who was responsible for some of the most glamorous and most expensive red carpet moments for famous actresses. That was the case with the star of the Mahalan Drive, who wore the insane $1 million heels that were encrusted with 464 diamonds all around the straps. Since she appeared on the red carpet wearing these shoes, people wanted a pair for themselves. So, what did Weitzman do? They designed a cheaper, more affordable model, which they adorned with the same number of Swarovski crystals. Now that's what we call a smart businessman. Number four, Alison Krauss and the Cinderella shoes. The story of Alison Krauss and the Cinderella shoes she wore at the 2004 Oscars begin with, surprise surprise, Stuart Weitzman. He was introduced to the actress because his daughters loved Krauss as an actress. She asked him if they could choose her to proudly wear their new design, and she agreed. The actress has said that she never expected to be chosen to wear expensive shoes like that, especially not the Cinderella slippers. After all, these pair of shoes cost $2 million and they were adorned with 565 white diamonds. And they were set inside a platinum case. The star of the show when it comes to diamonds was the five carat one. That one cost a million dollars today. Even though Allison was self-conscious about everyone looking at her feet, she managed to shine brighter than she ever could. That sure was an Oscar night she would never forget. Number three, Nick Cannon, fly for the AGT finale. Diamonds, diamonds, and more diamonds. That was the theme for America's Got Talent finale where Nick Cannon wore an unforgettable $2 million Tom Ford shoes, which he still has in his collection. He even shot a video telling the fans he's ready for the big night with $1 million on each foot. The look was completed with the classic tux and a diamond Rolex Sky Dweller, which was worth $38,000. You know, because thousands of diamonds on each foot aren't enough. But there's one little detail that he hasn't shared with you. Since the shoes were so expensive, Nick had to design himself another, cheaper pair with Swarovski crystals instead of diamonds. Number 2. Solid Gold OVO Air Jordan if you thought shoes could get expensive, how about sneakers that are just as expensive as gold? In fact, they're actually made out of gold. Drake took the OVO Air Jordan 10s and added a little twist to them, a golden twist. The rapper had built himself a pair of shoes that are made from solid gold. And while the originals will run you about 600 to buy, Drake's model has a lot more bling and is intended for people with much deeper pockets. If these shoes are actually built from solid gold, they would cost $2 million. How's that for rich? Number one, Nike Mag. 
even though they're not as expensive as some of the previous models, the Nike Mags are just an iconic shoe that were built and constructed after the shoes showcased it in the Back to the Future movies. And guess who was the first person to try them on? Michael J. Fox, the guy that played Morty McFly, received a pair of Nike Mags back in 2016. But this was not the first time Nike released the shoe. The first 1,500 pairs hit the market back in 2011, and we thought that we would never see them again. But when people started talking about how Back to the Future talked about self-tying shoes in 2015, and we still didn't have the technology in the actual 2015, Nike didn't want to disappoint. They released another 89 pairs of the shoe, and they sold like hotcakes. Currently, they go for around $50,000, so it's nothing to joke about. And on that note, we end the video. But hey, which of these shoes would you like to have in your collection one day? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.